Finding the right signals when using next-generation sequencing can be like looking for a needle in a haystack. But rather than looking for the needle, wouldn't it be easier to remove the hay? That's where jump code comes in. It can help remove the host DNA from a sample of blood to allow for the detection of an infectious disease, or remove healthy DNA from a cancer cell to help find cancer mutations, or remove ribosomal RNA to discover low-abundance RNA molecules that drive cellular function. Removing these overabundant nucleic acid molecules saves on sequencing costs and improves NGS performance in almost every application, particularly when removing ribosomal RNA molecules from RNA samples. Generally, when you perform next-generation sequencing, the RNA that often holds your interest is the messenger RNA, or mRNA, long non-coding RNA, miRNA, or peewee miRNA. But these low-abundance RNA molecules only make up a relatively small fraction of total cellular RNA. More than 90% of RNA in your sample is ribosomal RNA, which you need to get rid of or it will use up your sequencing capacity. We've made it easy to remove unwanted ribosomal RNA. Using the CRISPR-Cas9 enzyme, we can target unwanted ribosomal RNA sequences from a DNA library. Start with the total RNA from a sample and perform your normal NGS library prep without depletion. Then, our specially designed guide RNAs bind to common ribosomal RNA sequences. This allows the CRISPR-Cas9 enzyme to cleave those unwanted sequences. Next, simply perform the Psi selection step to remove the small fragments of DNA. Psi selection is followed by PCR to enrich for the mRNA sequences that have not been cleaved. After that, you're ready for sequencing. Our method works for all your sample needs, from bacteria to plants to humans, even with small sample input volumes. When using traditional enrichment approaches for eukaryotic cells, low abundant RNA can be completely lost during rRNA depletion leaving insufficient target RNA to create a library. Jump code avoids this challenge by enabling the amplification step to occur first before the rRNA is removed using CRISPR. And because you removed the unwanted sequences post-library prep, you can even use this method on multiplexed libraries with low sample input, getting you to your sequencing data faster and easier than ever. Jump code's technology lets you focus your sequencing capacity on the RNA that matters, saving time and money and homing in on RNA that might otherwise escape detection. Jump code improves the sensitivity of NGS for low abundance RNA. It enables multiplexing and provides an easier per sample workflow.